say don't move, Manny. Take a step. That was a really good catch. Yeah. Holy Yeah. Two, three. What is up, YouTube? It is your fearless leader here, Jason Lanier. I am here with Miss Maddie, who's getting ready over there at the Great Sand Dunes National Park here in Colorado. Um, we were supposed to be here a day and a half ago, but um, as you may know, I had quite an accident while urbexing and doing a shoot in a missile silo in Wyoming. Legs all bandaged up, stitches. So normally I'd be hiking at least down to there to get that big sand dune as a backdrop. Um, but uh, I just cannot afford to get those stitches ripped out of my leg. So I'm not even supposed to be here. Doctor's orders, I'm not supposed to be shooting for at least a week. But, well, you guys know me by this point. I'm gonna shoot Maddie up in this area, so it's still gonna be really beautiful in here. Give me some great shots. Play with the logs, the trees, just some beautiful stuff. She's got a really pretty um, pink dress on. Hello, how's it going? I'm putting eyelashes on. Wee! <laughs> so I'm getting the gear ready to shoot. This is, I'll show you guys some behind the scenes stuff. This is what it normally looks like. It's a mess. So here's Miss Maddie's stuff all over the floor. Yeah. And no, it's because we have no space. Here's all my crap. And we have this cool little table that I bought at Walmart that we can use to stage some of our gear and get stuff ready. So I just want to give you guys some behind the scenes looks. We're trying to change it up a little bit how we do some of the videos and bring you guys some some stuff that hopefully you really like. This is some kind of like table cloth decor scenario thing that I made a headpiece out of and then these are some wildflowers that I found over there. Then I have this kind of like a uh, almost like I don't want to say like desert shepherd theme but I have this kind of weird horn yeah, that's awesome. kind of getting into character and then we have um, some cool makeup and oh here it is this i found which kind of matches as well Perfect. Thinking, like you can pour sand out of it water uh you guys see me shoot a lot with leds and everything else i always want to mix it up and make sure you guys are getting a wide variety of products out there that uh, may suit you and your work um i have all my rotor lights out here i have my uh flashpoint big monolite 600 watt second monolite but i'm going to shoot this with just my little flash uh, now this is a full-fledged professional flash so it's, it's it's definitely up there this is the sony hvl f60m flash now using a flash outdoors is nothing new but using a flash with this is what i want to show you this is the westcott luna grip and what it does i believe this was created by kevin kabata and um, what this does is it has these rods three rods that come out of it that holds a one-stop diffuser in front of it to really shape, modify, and, and in, my, in my opinion, it'll probably really make a very soft, beautiful light. So um, I'm gonna attach this, put it all together, and we're gonna shoot it in the desert here and uh, share it with you. So this is my first time setting this guy up. So we'll do this joint, we'll do this together. Quick release plate off the tripod just goes in the bottom of this Luna grip thing. Tighten her up. Tighten this up. Now I'll put the rods in, put the diffuser in front, and we should be good to go. I don't know about that bottom one. There we go. Maybe yes, no, maybe so. Once the other two are connected. Okay. It'll probably fall out while I walk away. 
There we go, it fell out, just like clockwork. Okay, probably should attach this. There's that one. So definitely attach the rods to the diffuser first. And then put them in the bracket. Okay, now the bottom guy. All right, there you go. Obviously, this could present problems if there's a breeze, which I'm going to experience, but you guys know me, I'm still gonna give it a try. And uh, see how it goes. It's a cool little product. It's not that much money, which is always nice. Photographers who are on a budget. And you know, the whole concept, it's not rocket science, but the uh, flash fires through this and diffuses the light and makes it really nice. So let's see how it works. Nice to me, there we go. <laughs> That's nice, Maddie. Hopefully it made it. God, that was a hard fall. There's a storm coming in behind us. We've heard thunder and we're on a primitive road. It's literally called a primitive road. So we're gonna shoot as quick as we can and get out of here before we get stuck. I'm gonna have you do, that's beautiful, but I just need you to do it towards the direction of the light. What's that? That's been a heck of a trip. Let me anchor this down a little bit further towards you and then bring this piece up. There we go. Love that, one, two, three. Stay the same, I'm gonna change my angle. Wow. Let's get you closer to the modifier. Guys, as a rule of thumb, the closer you get your subject to the modifier, the softer the light is. Okay, don't move, Maddie. Oh, cool. One. Don't move, one, two, three. Eyes to me. Eyes up again like that. Don't stay, stay still. I'm having to wait for the flash to recycle. Oh. Go down in the middle of the path again. Take a step. That was a really good catch. Ah, it's twisting my fingers. Ah. Oh. It's coming, there's a storm brewing for sure. Entertaining the audience at home. Look to the light. Don't move. 
turn back to me a little bit. These are gorgeous. All right, let's go down to that bottom level. Sands of time, Maddie. I'm gonna put on 35 millimeters ice. Okay, take three steps back, right there. I forget I have these stitches in that. It wasn't good. All right, this is magical. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, this time, that's beautiful, Maddie. This time, take the sand and I want you to pour it out to your right side. One, two, three. Wow. Can I just see the pose quickly? <laughs> yeah. Look through there, Mad. Whoa. Yeah. Holy f Yeah. Beautiful. Crazy pretty. Pull it back off of your foot, the dress. There you go. One, two, three. There we go. Yeah, look at me. One, two, three. I'm going slower because I have to wait for it to recycle. Okay, let's pour some sand out. Which way? That way. Look at me. There we go. Stay still. One, two, three. That's wow. Serious wow. One, two, three. Stop pouring. Well, I accidentally poured it all over myself. Accident. <laughs> okay, how much is left? Not very much. Okay, if there's not very much left, do you want to try it in your just a little bit like that in your mouth? How can we pretend to do that? Because it'd be awesome. One, two, three. All right, we'll get a few this way and we'll be done. You can go up right onto that ledge right there. Oh no. Did you guys see that? Oh, they saw it. There's a plug for Sony Pro Services. This is why you <laughs> have Sony Pro Services. So when you do stupid stuff like me, you can send it in for cleaning. One, two, three. One, two, three. You okay, hon? How's your foot? Well guys, that's our shoot for today. Sorry about your foot, Mad. She did an amazing job. What else is new? Um, Great Sand Dunes is a beautiful place. Wish we had more time. Storms brewing, no doubt. We gotta get her on a plane to Phoenix anyways, so. Um, but uh, Flash did a great job. The Luna Grip's really cool. I don't know how many people bring it out here into these types of environments to shoot it with. If you had an assistant, it'd be a no-brainer. It'd be an amazing product. Um, but you better weigh it down if you're going to use it otherwise. One thing I was impressed with is this part actually stays very rigid, which is great. That doesn't move, which is nice. As long as you can support and plant the base of this, you'll be good to go. So if you had a C-stand or something out here, you'd be in pretty good shape. Um, I, I'd say a C-stand would work out great. So until next time, guys, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. I shot this with the 7200G Master and the Sony 35mm Zeiss 1.4 on the A9 with the incomparable Miss Maddie. Give her a follow at 
on Instagram at La Luneta, L-A-L-U-N-E-T-T-A. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, what is it? YouTube.com slash Jason Pros. Hit the subscribe button, guys. Click on notifications so you're updated every time we release a brand new video. Because we are we have lots of adventures in store for you guys. And, uh, well, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find out you're the works for you. And remember... You only have one chance to get it right! Talk to you guys later. Bye! Toodles. Great job, Mad. You guys still here? Hello? Talking to you. Hey guys, if you want to learn online with me, go to patreon.com slash Photography, and you will be able to continue this craziness online from anywhere on planet Earth with me. If you want to join me live, go to jasonlinear.com slash workshops, and you'll get to see me in my full glory live and in person, guys. I think there's a smudge on there. Is that it? Yeah, I got it. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.